The matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Gaethje is two years his senior. He is one inch taller. The reach is identical. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play. Oh! the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That's a good strike right there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he can 
continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and he really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting that as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right oh, where he's master is. of the transition. Nice scramble. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Under three minutes remain in round one. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. from the top here by Gaethje. All big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, hammer fist here by Gaethje. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Gaethje gets up. He is back on the... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Join the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion We got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 155 pounds. The most exciting moment in sport when Dana White wraps the belt around a new champion's yes. waist. Take a moment, son. Breathe it in. You are now the best fighter in the world.